determine the exact value for tan of 165 degrees. So we're going to work in degrees since this is in degrees. We can choose to change it to radians if we want. But because, because this ends in a 5, I know that 45 must go into that out of my special angles. So if we subtract, we get 120. So we know that 45 plus 120, so I can use a sum formula, will give me 165 degrees. So I'm going to use the sum formula for tan. So let me write that formula out, which would be on your formula sheet. So we have tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus tan alpha times tan beta. And we're going to use the angles 45 degrees and 120. Because we're adding, it does not matter which one we put first. I chose tan, uh, or sorry, alpha is 45 degrees. So every time I see alpha symbol, I'm putting 45 in, and beta will be 120 degrees. My next step will be to find the exact values for each of these. So let's start with tan of 45. So tan of 45, we would have on our 45 degree special triangle, and we've done that one, root 2 over root 2 is going to be 1. Tan of 120, we're going to want to consider what quadrant 120 is in. Remember, 120 is in quadrant 2. So if this is 120 degrees, if we take our 180 as our full distance, our reference angle must be 60 degrees. So we're dealing with quadrant 2, so we know tan is negative, and we can use our 60 degree special triangle and look up tan opposite of where Jason is root 3. So we're going to have negative root 3. I already put my plus sign, so we'll just keep it as negative there. 1 minus tan of 45 again is 1 times tan of 120 is negative root 3. So let's see, clean this up with, in terms of the signs. So it's just going to be 1 minus root 3, negative 1 times negative 3. We're going to have 1 plus root 3. Okay? We have done, this is an exact value, but quite often we don't want to um, leave it with a radical in denominator, so we're going to look at how we would rationalize. We would multiply by the conjugate, which is 1 minus root 3. Remember the sign in the middle of the denominator changes. And we're going to multiply both through, so we use the FOIL method here. So my numerator, we're going to have 1 times 1. The outside will be minus root 3. The inside will be minus root 3. And the last will be positive root 3 times positive root 3 is root 9, or just 3. It clears off the radical. In the denominator, we have 1 times 1 is 1, minus root 3. Inside is plus root 3, minus 3. And the idea is that the middle terms will cancel. Combining like terms, we have 1 plus 3 to give me 4. These are like terms. We have minus 2 root 3 divided by 1 minus 3 is negative 2. We can simplify this one further as 4, 2, and negative 2 are all divisible by 2. So let's cut each of those in half. And we don't leave a negative 1 in the denominator. We tend to move that up front. So that negative sign will be up front here. And then we can multiply it through the bracket. So our final answer is negative 2 plus root 3, or maybe written as root 3 minus 2.